My name is Rob Rossi and I'm opening up a Stalin restaurant. I can't believe you're building it yourself. Well, give us a chance. Bring somebody in for f***'s sake. You think I really want to stay in here dirty? You want to be open, so... I'm just scared that we're going to lose. We could lose everything. Previously on opening Bastellan. First cooking expedition here. It's got the pepper paste and the smoked paprika. I got a feeling somebody's gonna be grinding burgers soon. Give me a fing nudie, please. I don't give a No, we're we got I didn't know that a burger can actually rape a human being. The first soft opening behind us, I think it's important now that we can uh, have a good meeting. Right, what do you think in terms of uh, wine pouring? I mean, from the past couple of times, it's been strictly through the eye. Um, I think we've been pretty consistent with that, but I don't know exactly how. Over poured. We over poured? By three bottles. Really? Yeah. Part of what we talk about in our, in our meetings is, is the strategy to, to, every, to every soft opening that we do. The good thing in the kitchen is we, we portioned everything. We weighed everything. Cheese curds are all weighed, portioned. Steaks are all portioned out. Even, even the fries, like, we are pretty bang on with the fries. We too. were, they were frying a little bit too much at times. They were putting like, we needed like three orders and they were like yeah. frying five and it would sit there. That's why I actually went through that many yeah. fries too because at a certain point they were just yeah. too many at once. But yeah. Burgers are all portioned out by scale, right? It's like, yeah. And that's, that's what has to happen, right? Yeah. For both soft openings, we have to make them cost effective. I don't have a lot of money. Um, I'm buying the stuff basically just with cash. We could do some braises, like we can do some stuff yeah. that is very kind of, it's beautiful, but yeah. it's cost effective. Yeah. So can you have that by Thursday? And quickly yeah. put out and nice. Quickly yeah. to put out, nice, you know, like let's, uh, let's put our brains together, come up with a few things to, to kind of uh, sell that we know yeah. we can make some good cash on and that are going to sell really well, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, I think the cheese curds should stay on. They were selling quite a bit of them, and we have lots of cheese curds left. People are really enjoying them. They love them. Feedback, yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of people aren't realizing that it's, you know, it says in the bridge menu, we should start. I mean, what? obviously, would it be possible to put the full menu on, but just maybe showcasing a few more, a few more of those. Uh, absolutely. Right? I think the other thing too, we need to do more desserts. No, definitely. And that's because uh, our sales, I bet you, we could have did probably another two, three hundred bucks just on oh, desserts. Yeah, we got a big hit based on the we, fact that we ran out. Yeah. Like people still bought the show we're putting, but yeah, when you don't, want options. When you don't give them options anymore. And let's let's um, I have one thing just for me and you, Joe. Yeah. Let's engineer the menu so we dole down the amount of cream and butter that we use, because at the price that it is right now, it's like fucking five dollars a liter. We're just going through too much of it. And that's it. Let's try to fill it up again. Talk to whoever you guys can about getting people here. I'm gonna to talk to Lindsay when I uh, when I see her next, which will probably be in the next hour or so. Yeah, we just need to fill it. Yeah. Like fill it, fill it. We're back in the kitchen today. I'm gonna to prep a lot of burgers. Ran out last time, so uh, we definitely don't wanna do that. Yeah, really a little bit more spunk in them today. They're kind of moving a bit quicker and it's great because last time it was a bit tough. Tables with a string. I love it. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Brand new, man. Brand new. The soft openings are great, but it, it still doesn't feel like my own restaurant yet. We're really excited about how the first dry run went, and we want to amp it up a little bit for the second one. First of all, tonight is way, 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 way busier than last Saturday, which is awesome. Um, but we literally have twice as many people 
two full seatings. It's like every table is full. Second seating, the bar is completely booked as well. So we're, we're rammed, which is fantastic. It's a really good chance to test the staff and, and push the staff and, and really importantly, get everyone excited about um, the buzz of this restaurant. The communication in the kitchen is pretty much the most important thing ever. You have to give me a bill. Okay. Yep. <laughs> don't f***ing hesitate, seriously. Yep. Right. Chick comes in, right away, I don't give a f what you're doing. Yeah. Take your f***ing bill, right to left, boom, give me that, right to left, and just do that all night long. Mark your bills. If I come look, because the only problem with the system, if you don't mark your bills off, yeah. you could potentially make something again. Need to always be marketing and talking to each other. Yep. Do not just put up random food because if you put up a steak, hey, maybe it's going to duty, maybe she's five minutes off. They're not used to that for some reason, and it's hard for me to understand because every kitchen I've worked in, you know, has this type of system usually where everyone has bills and everyone talks and everyone puts up food at the same time. So it's getting a little frustrating for me. Does everybody understand that? Right to left, mark the bills, give me a shit. Yeah. Joe's gonna give you the final chip yeah. on the last course. After this, I don't want any more prep. Yeah, no Just fucking get on the line and let's do this. Shit. fantastic experience to finally have people here like we pictured it. Trout nudie. System failed. Um, unfortunately, two people at the bar. Yeah. 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 You guys need after? Yeah. They're understanding. They're understanding, guys. Well, fortunately, they're GP's friends. They got their burgers before uh, their first courses. I'm check on that for you. A little pissed off about it, but it is the way it goes, and I have to suck it up. That's 10 minutes old already. 10 minutes to put up a salad, guys. It's not good. Okay, so table 505, first course is gone, guys. Get into the habit of using markers. You have no marker picks on that. So Angela's uh, on the grill tonight, and she is she's doing a great job. But some of the some of the meat's coming back, and it's not quite hot. You know what I'm saying? You don't? Okay, because that'll be cold inside, guaranteed. You can feel it. Hold your finger on there for 10 seconds. Ribeye for two, bone marrow. They can all fit in this. Make it look good. Just keep marking bills, just keep giving me bills. That's the way we do it, right? This way I know, you know, he knows. Okay, the hearts, chef. The hearts. Ah, that looks good, guys. See? It's all starting to come together now. 36 steps, chef. Okay, 36, staff 36. When the steaks come out proper, they're they're amazing. And it looks really good. Dark, you know, like exterior. You get a, just a very flush, like pink color. They're very warm. Perfect. Guys, give me a shipping on 
Connor Percy, please. Okay, and the, meat, the meat's perfect. It's hot. Like Joe. Nice and caramelized. It's the way a steak should be. is Ryan's parents. And it's a really special night as well because my parents are here and so are Ryan's parents. Hey, not. No. You guys want some salamis and stuff? Yeah? I'll send that out to sir. Of course we're nervous. Um, you know, our family's here and we're trying to prove something for the, really the first time. It's difficult because some of the dishes that are coming out, there's no one's paying attention to what's going on. When you put when you plate the burrata, put the leeks that have the caramelized side up, right? Because that's what you want to show that, right? I always watch the little things, and especially when you're doing simple food, that you know, if I'm asking for something to be caramelized like leeks, and they're not coming out that way. Yeah, and they just. Hold on, one are, there, are they caramelized? Is there any more that are more caramelized than that? You guys have to learn how to caramelize something in a pan. And, and I'm asking Andrew, give me some, give me the proper leaks here. That's that's borderline fucking anemic. He doesn't have them. He's not paying attention to what he actually needs to do. Speed up these times a little bit. They're just like way too fucking slow. You're on the cusp of, of doing really well, and I think you guys are, but we got it. You can't just stop at a certain point. You gotta go faster. How old is it? Well, so you can't even tell though, because you gotta look at the pickup. You got 30 minutes from the pickup. Yeah. From the pickup? Yeah, 30 minutes. Hour from the start. Tables aren't turning, uh, servers are waiting for food, and the cooks aren't cooking, so something's kind of breaking down somewhere along the lines. Listen, you gotta really speed it up on appetizers, man. 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I want fucking like four minutes. Don't think about anything, just put the food up. From Berlay Donut, I don't know. Why are we getting Grand Boy tickets? I have no clue. Go talk to Chris and say we don't have that. What is that? I'm not a hard ass, I just I just want people to work. The, the, the biggest thing is people have to work and they have to be productive. Do this, take the burger off that, reheat it, do fries, new bun. Okay, I need the well done, like badly. Not even funny. I thought you guys told me five minutes ago it was done. Put a baked duck egg in, okay? We're still doing really good, guys. We got a couple of hiccups, but still doing well. You can get a better sear on this too next time, okay? You can't always dish out shit to people. You have to, uh, you have to be honest and, and tell them when they're doing a good job because after a while, if you just keep hearing shit, they're, they're gonna get up and say, F you, and they're gonna walk out. Congratulations. So after the first seating, I am uh, doing a little cruising around the dining room and uh, I stop off to see my, my mom and my dad. You need to dip into that 40 grand. If you need to, you go ahead. Okay. Just be smart about it. Okay? I know. My dad's, uh, he seems very happy. He seems uh, very happy that we're kind of moving along. Here's another thing you should do. Go around to the tables. When you, you know, you get a free time. How's everything? You know, I you do. Know, yeah, I interact do. with the people, right? Say, how's the food? How's this? How's the service, I know. right? So that's how you get your best feedback. Oh, well, that's what I'm right? doing, right? Slowly. Yeah. But just remember, you like, present yourself. Yeah, I know. He always has some interesting things to say. I won't, I won't relax if I know that don't, oh, you're not eating. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know, don't worry. I promise you. So the last little bit here, we definitely have to push. Um, 
It's a lot of my friends out here. It's difficult to cook for your friends because they're, they're very not forgiving and especially when you need to be forgiven on nights like this because you're, you're trying to deal through all this stuff. Round two. I'm always here to say cheesy jokes, you know me. People are doing well, the food's looking good, and I'm really happy. Seriously, I've never worked with a team of people that, in three days, or three shifts, you guys can do that. It's pretty incredible. Honestly. Good. We have a photographer in today. They're taking some photos of the restaurant of Brian and I. It's tough though, because we're getting a lot of phone calls and we're still not open and people are asking us like constantly, when are you open? So we're gonna have a better idea tomorrow because he's coming back, the inspector, at 1.30. So we'll, we'll talk it's kind of, that's kind of why, because if he, I don't know. You know what I mean? If he's coming here tomorrow, I'm him. Same guy's coming? Yeah, I think anything now, if we don't listen to him, he's just gonna piss him off, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll touch base tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I told everyone to hold off anyways. And... Yeah. We're just trying to get everything ready for the final inspections, and it's gonna feel so good when they're all gone. We just talked to the building inspector here. So he gave us like all the things that we need to do, and some of it's electrical, the smoke detector in the bar area, and the smoke detector downstairs. I have a little list of things I need to do, and one of them is we have to we have to drywall the downstairs basement ceiling. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Three A little frustrating because uh, originally we weren't supposed to have to. Uh, if that's what it takes to get it all said and done, we're we're gonna do it. Cut, cut a piece from here off. Cut a piece from here. So from here. Seventeen and a half. We have no proper tools. We don't have the, the right equ uh, equipment to do this. <coughs> It'll be clean. Enough. This thing is gonna go right through like that. That's what you wanna do? You just yeah, because you gotta make just fucking the uh, little blast right there. All that's it. It's okay. It's bracket. You're not drawing all in your dining room. Hey, you remember when you were like in the body? Yeah. I don't like doing this stuff, man. Of course it's gonna break. No, yeah. no, it won't break. It broke. Yeah, it's just because of this hack design that you came up with. I think I'm all about hack design. Go, <laughs> <laughs> push it in there. Oh, you, yeah, just go this way. You gotta tilt this way. Yeah, tilt. Oi, 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 oi. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Who the f? <laughs> Who's responsible for this work? Okay. They're gonna bring me to the f Ministry of Labor because I'm good. Listen. It's always good to have Gus and Frank around. It's like the two funniest people in the restaurant. Screw the, the same. Go out more. Wait. Go out more. There. <laughs> oh, this is your real world. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So the inspector is here and um, I'm really, really just hoping that we just get this right now. I'm kind of pacing back and forth a little bit. Really nervous and excited and anxious and uh, I can't wait to wake up knowing that that's all done. No, they gonna say no, they gonna say no. Oh. I feel like I've been holding my breath for about 25 minutes now and I, I can't wait to to hear, uh, okay, everything's good, and uh, and breathe again.
Time is done. Everything's done. Yeah. I told you, there's not a lot of work. It's just the work that when you start doing drywalling now, it's like, what the f? Why? You know? Like, look at it downstairs. <laughs> feel better. But still, there's still more conversations to be had, I'm sure. She's looking around, she's asking questions. What's still in limbo? So the inspector comes back to us and uh, we, got the, we got the paperwork, we got everything done and uh, I'm very excited. We're finally past, we're legit, everything's cool. We're going to take 10 tables at, or 10 seats out of here, we're going to finish the drywall downstairs and we're going to get our letters from our architect and we're done. We can't wait any longer, we have to open this restaurant. Actually, we could probably open, hold on, it's Friday today. Yep. If he really, if he signs off his letter on Monday, they get it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, no, it would have to be Monday. I haven't told anybody how long I've been dealing with the head of the department to get this done. Yeah. Every day I call these guys, every day I send emails, every day I cry and tell them I'm gonna go bankrupt, and they finally helped. And now we just need to switch gears and, and plan for opening night. On the next episode, opening Bastellan. If it takes me a full day, but if I can get 40 barata, just try and be proactive at every step. What the f Like that, get it out. I feel like a lot of the stuff that we're doing in the kitchen, and none of it's, we're not, there's no justice to it anymore. We've been waiting too long for this. Thing.